I am at the Selma Area Food Bank sitting with Executive Director Mr. Jeff Harrison. Uh, and Jeff, we were talking the other day at the grand opening of Dane's, and you were collecting food that day, and I did not realize you were doing this, but you're actually collecting to help hurricane victims in the from the recent hurricane disaster we've had in the uh, Carolinas and in Georgia and Tennessee. Tell us yeah, a little bit about that right. effort. Yeah. You know, any anytime we have a disaster like that, it's within a couple of hundred miles, <clears throat> we have groups here in Selma that connect with other groups and they wanna they wanna return the favor just like when we had our tornado a couple of years ago. Right. They wanna they wanna they felt moved to let's help these people because we understand what they're going through certainly so uh, that's what we were doing out there that day was kind of kick that off and say listen we're, we're you know you might not be able to drive up there or go up there but you can contribute to us we're going to send it up there through other volunteers that are from our local area uh, men and women of action of alabama there's a group that's going up there and they'll 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 gather up big trailers and trucks and gather up stuff from various areas in Alabama, including us, and then they'll head up that way and they partner with other churches up there. They're a they're a faith based organization like Samaritan's Post. Right. But just on a lot smaller scale. But you know, there there's people up there that, that uh, sometimes are hesitant to reach out to FEMA or, or hesitant to Stand in a long line or whatever, and, but they need help. And and these little organizations like this one that, that comes out, they can they can find and seek out these little communities that, that the churches know. I mean, the churches know their community, and it's the perfect time for the churches to come together and, and support the community. And, and so that's what they do. So anytime, like I said, that that happens, we're always glad to to uh, give what we can. But at the same time, we're constantly securing food and getting food in to help those around us that, that need sure. help on a regular basis. So when we when we give out more than than just our normal need, we have to figure out a way to replenish some of that so we can be ready for the next emergency. Because we try to stay ready all the time because you never know what's going to pop up. Even locally, you know, we've had we've delivered water to the. Dallas County water not long ago. We've had to take water to Perry County. Mm, yeah. Different different municipalities where their water system fails. And so they call on us and we're more than happy to help. But we have to replenish some of that that we get sure. out. Yeah. So that was that was my appeal at Dave's the other day was, you know, if, if you were affected by the tornado a couple of years ago and you feel the need to want to help folks who are in the same situation then we'll be glad to accept your money, accept your food, cleaning supplies, whatever, dog food. Because yeah. as we learned, everybody, when they get wiped out like that, they need everything. They need cat right. food, dog food, diapers, baby formula. We keep all that in stock. We have a great selection of baby formula and diapers. There's a pallet of diapers over there sitting, yeah. ready to go. So we, we, we constantly supply and stock up on emergency items, and then when the occasion arises, we, we're ready to say, hey, if, you're, if you've got a group that's going up there, mm -hmm. the least we can do is send water and diapers and cleaning supplies and whatever else you think they might need, because you know, obviously a lot of those people up in the Carolinas just got Yeah, wiped especially out in those completely. mountain areas where they're yeah. totally cut off. Yeah, yeah. So and, we, uh, yeah. you know, we're, we're just more than happy to do that, but at the same time, it's a balancing act because our local people have needs and, and we have sure, to... there's an ongoing yeah, situation. Yeah. So we have to continually be out sourcing food and, and, and product right. so we can just keep it rolling and, 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 and then put some aside to build up for, just like you would in your, your finances at home. You try to yeah. stick a little bit back for a rainy day in case something happens. And right. we, we do the same thing. We always are sticking something back for a rainy day or a disaster so when we get called on and say, Sure, come on by. Right. We'll load you up, and, and that's the least we can do if you're willing to make the effort yeah, and the expense and to go up there. Like you said, after the tornado of 2023, we have a, 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 a first-hand experience yeah. understanding yeah. of, yeah. and maybe not as bad as some of those folks up there, but it's still bad enough. So yeah. we understand. 
Now, if they want to donate, if anybody wants to donate food or, or money, what are you specifically looking for and how do they do that? Monetarily anything, you know, $5, $10, whatever their heart leads them to give. And the same thing with food, uh, everything that, that people need, you know, cleaning supplies, again, diapers, formula, uh, shelf stable food, canned food that has a pop yeah. top on it. And, and because, you know, this isn't just a one time thing where we send a load up there because they're not going to recover in a week or a month. No, yeah. It's going to take months and months. So in another month or so, there'll be another wave and another push to, to try to help get them across the finish line because the, the, uh, the resources that are up there now, you know, as we witnessed, it won't take long. There'll be another disaster somewhere else. Right. And then some of those have to pull away and go. Exactly. And, and, and therefore, it kind of leaves a void up there. So that's where we come back in, where we can uh, help our local folks that want to continue to go up there that have gone up there initially and built relationships with our different churches and firehouses and whatnot. So that gives them a contact to go back to, and then they can report back and say, yeah, man, they've made great progress. Good. You know, yeah. half of them are back in a house now and so forth and so on. And, and, and did they just bring the food and stuff back yeah, here? Yeah, they can or? just bring it here, yeah. yeah. And of course, we're over at the Craig Field area. So right, we're yeah, we're right out behind Mama Budweiser yeah. and Bruce K. Craig Elementary. How often are you uh, sending a load up to? to Whenever we get a call, we've got one group that's leaving out next week, mm -hmm. and and they're waiting to see uh, right now what kind of damage is down in Florida. So they're going to go to oh, the Carolinas yeah. first, and then depending on how severe the damage is in Florida, they said in two weeks they they like to take a load down the floor so so there's a great need right now since we did have oh, that yeah. and that yeah. one just hit last night yeah. so yeah we yeah. don't even know what they're going to need yet. yeah and a lot of our agencies that, that, that help us distribute food are churches and right. so you know this coming sunday several churches around town could say you know we need to we need to do something to help those folks so we're gonna right davy over here he's he's got a big trailer and he's got some he takes some time off so Let's fill that trailer up and, and we'll swing by the food bank and see what they can donate and then we'll take off and go on up there. Yeah. And that'll be a that'll be an ongoing thing as, as relations connect and, and make those connections. There'll be people that, you know, with this this particular church, there's a, a church of that same denomination up there that's put out a help or a plea mm -hmm. for yeah. some things and, and so the, the the corresponding churches down here will say, Yes, yeah, that's, that's our one of our brothers and sisters up there, let's, let's do what we can to help them. So they can either do it directly or, or they can donate to us and, and, and we'll make sure that it gets out there. And, and That's amazing to too, that network of churches exactly. and, and, and you know, just the everyday common citizens getting together. There's such a strong network and doing more good than any government right. agency. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. If it wasn't for them, we couldn't, we couldn't yeah. survive because That's we don't wonderful. have the staff to We've got, we've got over 50 agencies, the majority of them are churches, and, and they have volunteers and pantries that, that they, in their surrounding community, they know who needs the food and they take care of the community, which is what the church is mm -hmm. supposed to do. So they know the community way better than we do. So the least we can do is help them get the food and then they take it from there and, and get it to the they last mile. Yeah. Uh, do, uh, do you have any food drives coming up in the next week or so before that shipment? Leaves? We do. Matter of fact, we have uh, Cornerstone Realty is having a food and fun drive for us. Uh, it'll, it'll conclude October 30th, and, and it, it, uh, they call it not a trick, but a treat for the, <laughs> for the food bank. So right. you can go by their office on, uh, I think that's Lauderdale Street, I believe right, yeah. and, and they'll have some bins there where you can give food and a little box where you can put money yeah. in. So that's a convenient location if you want to go by and support them. Miss Jewel Williamson just... Uh, she is just, such a sweet person. Yeah. You yeah. know, I've never actually met her, but I've talked to her on the phone. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're filling in for George Henry in yeah. Dixon Country, exactly. and she is just as sweet. Yeah. So uh, And it's right down the street from, if you know where the radio station yeah. is, yeah. it's just, just right there on the corner yeah. down the street. So it's easy to find. From the yeah. radio station. That's cool. Uh, right there near Goodwill, too. Mm -hmm. so easy to find. Yeah. Um, all right. So you got that. Kind of, any other ones coming up that people need to know about? Uh, not just yet. But okay. uh, in the weeks to come, there'll be some more that'll 
And, and, and this came from, from our appeal from Dave's other day. Yeah, okay. People said, well, let's, 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 let's see what we can do. And yeah. with the holidays coming up, we'll have different ones that will pop up. Right. That'll say, you know, Thanksgiving's around the corner, Christmas is around the corner. We'd like to have a food drive and a fun drive. So I'll certainly let you know when those pop up. Yes, please. When they get scheduled yeah. so people can, can go by and donate there yeah. as well. And um, because our, our, you know, with the economy being kind of stuck for a while, we still have a, uh, our demand continues to yeah. elevate. Yeah, and, and that's just the local area. Yeah, so yeah. That, yeah. that doesn't doesn't count the disasters you're trying to help. Right. Right. So uh, again, if we they, they can donate by bringing it by here, um, what about if they want to mail? They want to mail it to us. They go online. Yeah. We have a. a, a whatever you call it, a platform yeah, where like you can donate online. Yeah, yeah, that kind yeah. of thing. We can do that. Right. Or they can do it, you know, the, the older folks like like me, they prefer to write a check put mm -hmm. put and, and, <laughs> and send it on, you know. And that, and I had one fellow that, that really touched my heart yesterday. He said, you know, I'm the Lord's moving me to do something. And he said, I know if I send it to you, you're going to take care of it and, and it'll, it'll, it'll go for the most good. So right. I know. He said, you know, I... I I, he said, I hesitate sending it to some of these big national organizations where it just kind of might get lost. He said, but I know if it goes to you, I know what y'all do, and I see who y'all help, oh, yeah. and I want to help. So and he said, I'm sending my money to you. Great. What's your address? 101 Avenue C, is in Cat. Yeah. 101 Avenue C, Selma, Alabama. Three six seven zero one. Is there a mailing address, or is that is that's, that? That's our that's mailing. Phone. Okay, address. good. Yeah, and physical address. Right. right. Yeah, and and I'm with you on that. Everything needs to be done on the local level. Exactly. You know, that's. I mean, uh, just like Dave's. I mean, yeah. You know, the big stores are good, but but uh, Dave's got quite an investment there, and he's he's providing a, a very valuable service and yeah. providing some yeah. great product. Right. And, and uh, that money. We know that money stays here. Stays in the community. Yeah, and circulates exactly. around. So that's uh, that's important. Whenever you can shop local, Amen. That, that helps the everybody. And donate local. Exactly. You know, exactly. And, you know, because, uh, like you say, we know a lot of times where this money. When you got people that, from the outside that are looking in, they judge you by several things. They judge you by your animal welfare, how, mm -hmm. how you take care of your animals. Yes, sir. Really, that's true. And they true. judge you by your support of the local food bank that's yes. that's out there in the community trying to help day in and day out. So there's several things that people look at from the outside. Some of them, they determine whether they come into Selma to live and work by what they see. Yeah, the yeah, exactly. Out there by the people that are out there supporting and the quality of living kind yeah, of a thing exactly. is what they're looking at. And that's, exactly. that's what stuff yeah. like this adds yeah. to. I mean, we'd love to work ourselves out of a job, but, but it's just not going to happen that's probably, soon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Well, I appreciate what you're doing, and no, thank you so much. Thank um, you for getting And thank you for spending time out. with me. Anytime. And again, do let me know when you got something else coming sure, up. Yeah. So we can be sure we can pop it up on our Facebook and our website. Exactly. And I'm going to put all the pertinent information on the screen here. and. Hopefully we'll uh, help get some folks donated. All right. Thank, thank you, Mr. Jeff. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Take care. Thank, thank you for watching. Yes.